Hi, so just got back from shopping and, um, oh, people are in. And we were, <laughs> thought I'd show you. So we come in and Dale's decided to do all that. So he's torn the whole thing apart. I guess he was hungry. <laughs> Dale did that, didn't you, Dale? That innocently eating, because he's so starving. Dale, did you do that? Did you make the mess? Yeah, <laughs> you did, didn't you? <laughs> That's funny. So I'm just gonna tidy that up and Corey's put all the shopping out for us, but I've got to disinfect it all. I don't know, am I the only one still doing that? I can't let any of that be in the house until I've cleaned everything. So I'm gonna do that now and then we'll do the haul. Okay, so I'm back. I've disinfected everything. I feel better now <laughs> so I can do the haul. Always let you know how it goes when we go shopping and it was so empty. There was no queue in Asda at all. Like that is the first time that I've ever just walked straight in. It was getting busy, it was coming out and I was getting a bit uncomfortable busy, but it was great. I just, shopping with Corey just makes such a difference to me. I, my anxiety levels go way down and I know I need to get over that because things are changing and we're gonna start coming out of things and shopping properly and all that stuff, all that fun stuff to come. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, do the shop now, or haul, whatever you want to call it. So, we've got quite a lot this time actually. Right, let's start with the peppers. Got a slightly more expensive packet because they're, they're huge. Look, look what he's Little things keep you excited. So, uh, we're going to do a Mexican bowl, I think. Corey didn't really want wraps, but he wanted Mexican, so we're just going to do something like that. So we've got some peppers, but I've already got onions, so I don't need that. Potatoes, two kilograms for a pound, bargain. Oh, we're going to have shepherd's pie and we're going to have sausage and mash this week. So I've got that to go in the shepherd's pie or cottage pie. I don't know what this, I know it's the meat difference, but I don't know what we've got in the freezer. So whatever it is. Mayonnaise, we always get mayonnaise for Corey. Uh, tomatoes, I love tomatoes and we're getting low. So I thought we'd go with these ones for a change. Banana. Not sure what, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna have a pancake this week. But I'm the only one who really eats the fruit and veg, so that's why I don't tend to get an awful lot of it, because I don't want to bin stuff. I've seen oh, Greek salad. People have been posting it all over Instagram. So I've got all the other bits that I need anyway in the fridge. So, yep. Mozzarella, I bought that just, literally just because I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. It was 45p, so I just bought it. Cheese, because we always get a slab of cheese. Butter, always get a thing of butter, and Corey was out of his, and it's cheaper to buy the small one than it is to get a big one. Uh, washing liquid, now I don't, I've never found a washing liquid that I've, I've stuck with it, because, oh, it's amazing. You know, people say, oh, I love this one, it, it works so well. I've never found one, so I've not tried this one before. I've always bought non-bio, that's since uh, the kids were young because Corey had contact eczema and it turned out it was the washing powder so we've always bought non-bio so I bought this one and we'll see if he gets a reaction or not so if not that was only a five of 60 washes so it's not too bad. Uh, six pints of semi-skim milk just because we always get that one. Let's go this way a bit. Okay Corey as you've seen in previous hauls I always get the tuna pasta bakes for Corey they didn't have the one that he normally gets in but they're 80p normally even when we get them on the deal they're still 50p this one was only 29 so I thought that's worth giving a go and he'll clearly let me know if it's no good uh this one I always have this spice in or this seasoning mix whatever you want to call it I use it in, in when we make the Mexican things but this is really good like if you're having eggs and you just want something a little bit different I just love the flavour so always make sure I've got one in we're nearly out of the other one so I just making sure we don't run out tuna for Corey's pastas this was literally I've got a couple in a tin I just wanted to stock up a bit more on tins I know I, you may think I'm silly but if there is a second wave I just don't want to be out of anything that's the reason I got that one that's uh, meatballs and oh that was the only tin of meatballs left as well another tin of beans 
Corey's got some cakes that he wanted custard with. And I fancy peas, didn't realise that I don't have any. And we've got two just again to make sure I'm stocked up. We're going to do the Mexican bowl. I'm the only one who eat, eat rice so that's why I just bought a packet. It's just easier that way. And I actually fancy some fizzy. So this one, if you have not tried the grape, it's really, really nice. Corey has already got into the his fizzy. And this one, if you saw my little unexpected, it wasn't even a haul, it wasn't big enough to be called the class as a haul, I don't think. Uh, I always buy the drinks in Tesco, they're 120 in Tesco, because I've never looked in Asda. Just never thought of it. So we picked these ones up and they were a pound for four instead of 120 for four. And this one, strawberry and kiwi. That's the only flavour that would be any good because the other one's lemon and lime and Corey won't drink that. But still, I'm saving 20p, so bargain. I always have wipes. These are not the wipes that I use to clean anything in the kitchen, things that I need disinfected. This is just to sit in the sheds. So when the shed needs a wipe out, because Corey always sits out there and watches his films when he's smoking or whatever. So that's just to clean the shed. Uh, Corey's got Doritos, that's for that. For the Mexican, sour cream and guacamole. Fancy beers, never tried these before. They're only, they worked out a pound each, so I don't know if anyone's ever tried these. Are they any good? Well, I'll find out soon. We were just getting low on that. It's just to make sure that we're backed up. And Corey wants, you mentioned pulled pork, and this, we literally looked through them, picked up the smallest one, because I won't eat it. So that will be just Corey, and then we'll make up some meals after that with it. These were eaten on the last haul last week. Uh, so we just picked up some more to go in the freezer. And this one, I'm just, we was just looking through the freezer section and I just mentioned to Corey, would you eat them? He said, yeah. And it was three pound for that. I mean, I don't know if that's really a bargain or not because no, I don't do ribs and I've just, I won't even try them because there's just no, no interest. So smoky barbecue ribs. Two packs of the southern fried, he's already in them again. Southern fried chicken breast strips. Two packs just because they don't have the southern fried. That's why we ended up getting the hot ones last week. So that's why we got two packets of those. Mixed veg. There's no point in me buying fresh veg anymore if it's just for me that much. Because I can't, I don't eat enough before it starts going bad. So just, I just thought we'd well, get some to go in the freezer, that makes sense. Uh, veggie sausages, I bought those ones the other day you saw in the small hall for Tesco and wasn't that impressed, which is a shame. They did look good, but I wasn't impressed and I know that these, the corn ones are just my favourite and I eat sausages all the time. Corey's always got his pizza, 82p for the pepperoni one. I don't think they had many in there. We're going to do a chicken casserole this week, so I just bought there. That is... A kilogram and it was three pound fifty and that should work I'm just gonna put it in the crock pot thing this you see in the past two weeks because it's so good I just get on get one every week and they're only 90p at the moment as well so biscuits just to sit in the cupboard this is Corey's section again he, he's I think he's just giving me extra money every week now because he just when he comes shopping with me he always puts loads in magic stars and caribou noodles he got this week. That's to go with the Mexican, the flame grilled steak. You do want barbecue, does anybody know? Is they used to do a barbecue ones. Haven't seen them for ages, I don't know, but like, do they not make them anymore? I got paprika, I love these. They're about two pounds, I won't pay two pounds for a packet of them, I only get them if they're on a deal. So that was the only reason I picked them up. Corey wanted these the other week, but they didn't have any. They are, I think they're triple chocolate muffins. Can't remember the price on those. But that's to go with the custard that he's got. And we saw these. Never seen these before. So they, they like uh, the naan bread type feel. A bit, a, bit, a bit softer. And they you just roll them. And Corey's got kebab meat in the freezer anyway. So we thought we'd give them a go. That's just pitters just to sit in the freezer. My bread. And Corey's bread. And that just goes with the pasta. So yeah, that's it. That's everything. 
So we got two receipts because I paid cash and card and we had to do it in two separate transactions. But the total was 68.75. So 68.75 it came to, which we got quite a lot of stuff. I'm still trying to um, get used to shopping weekly. I've always shopped daily before when I was working before all this but I, I like doing the weekly shop just got to get to grips with what we really need to buy and I need to try and learn how to meal plan a little bit <laughs> that would help I'm not very good at that so that's it for another week yeah hope you enjoyed if you've been here before thank you if you're new here I hope you enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe if you did, comment, let me know how's your shopping experiences going and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!